and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do a with a muscle of asparagus and eight and four um, What I'm going to do is I'm going to pan fry the pork fillet with some dried, saved from the garden, some garlic and some shallots, and then going to pan fry it till it's got a bit of colour. I'm going to put it in the oven at 180 for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to pull it out and let it rest for five before we slice into it. Um, and whilst all that's happening, I'm going to do a mushroom, asparagus and dried egg creamy sauce. And we're also going to top this off with some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds which we lightly toasted. So first things first, we are going to roll the pork fillet. Let me get some salt. Now this is one of my favourite smoked salt. I put a little bit of smoked salt on the pork fillet, a little bit of dried sage. The sage is from the garden, which has been dried by soap. A nice bit of oil, get the pan on nice and hot. Nope, running out of oil. So let's get the big one. A little bit of oil on there. Also quickly what we'll do is we'll crush some garlic. A couple of garlic. And a couple of shallots in the pan, which would be lovely. As I say, we can fry this off so we get a little bit of colour on it and then stick it in the oven at 180 for about 15 minutes. Right, now, so whilst that's uh, in the oven frying up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly chop up these asparagus into half, and the asparagus tip, so we've taken the woody part off already. I'm going to quickly give them a blanch for a minute in some hot water. Whilst the asparagus is blanching, what we'll do is quickly slice these mushrooms. About five mil pieces. So they can keep a, keep a bit of a bite to them. What we're going to do now is we're going to quickly fry these mushrooms off in a bit of oil and a bit of butter. I've got one clove of garlic left which I'm going to put in there as well. Put that in just towards the end. Of the mushrooms cooking just so that they're not just so it doesn't burn. I think worse than burnt garlic. And then I've got these two little apricots, dried apricots. I'm going to finely slice those really thinly just so that you get a tiny little bit. It goes very well with the pork. So, as I said, we're going to fry those off until they're cooked. And we'll add the garlic right at the end, and then we'll put in the asparagus, a bit of cream, and then we'll put the apricots in last, and just let it all come. So like I said, you want to fry up the mushrooms, so you've got a lovely colour on them like that. I'm sure you can't see them because of the sun, unfortunately. But that's about four or five minutes in the pan. Then you can throw the garlic in. You don't want that to burn, so literally just toss it around a little bit. Start smelling it in about 10 seconds. Gorgeous. We put that back on the pan, and then we're going to put in our asparagus, a bit of cream, and then at the end we're going to throw in those chopped up apricots. So now they're all fried off, lovely and gorgeous, smelling great. What we're going to do, which is pour about 100 ml of cream straight in the pan. Throw the sauce around, throw the apricot straight in, just put it back on the heat just for one minute. Lovely, 
there we go, they've been cooked. What we're going to do is we're going to quickly finish that off. A bit of lemon zest. We've got heavy cream in there, we're going to freshen it up. And a quick squeeze of lemon. A little stir. straight in the plate. So here we have the pork fillet, lovely, and we just put it out on the board to rest. We've also got some lovely bits of roasted shallot, which be great for a little topping, don't want to waste those. Right, so here we have it, we've got a lovely pork fillet. Slice that up into nice big chunks. One, two, three, four, five. Nice pile of that. Two crispy onions. And here we have some lovely toasted pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. Just a few on top for a little crunch, a little nuttiness. There you have it. We've got pork fillet, sage and garlic and onion on a creamy asparagus and apricot sauce.